Hi everyone, Nisela here. Beautiful evening here in the Pacific Northwest. I hope that you guys had a nice weekend. Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of our mini orchard right here behind me. A couple of apple trees, a pear tree, some blueberry shrubs, a couple of giant rhubarb plants right there, a little pumpkin patch, and some raspberry shrubs right here below. So let's take a walk and I'll show you how everything's coming along and what we've been harvesting the past couple of weeks. Here is a raspberry bush that I planted three years ago. My friend gave me this little cane. It was only about, I think, three feet tall. It's now at least five and a half feet tall and growing lots of canes along the side. See those? Those are new shoots. So they put out runners just like blackberries. And we've been harvesting raspberries the past two weeks. They're still putting out fruit. Zoom in here. See all those raspberries? Here's the opposite side of the raspberry bush along the stairs. So more berries in there hiding. So raspberries are a great fruit to plant and grow. Very uh, prolific and simple to grow in your backyard. Here is one of my favorite plants with these beautiful red flowers. Looks like a palm plant and it's got these beautiful scarlet red trumpet looking like flowers. This is called Croscomia. It's one of my favorite plants in the garden. Right here on my left is our small pumpkin patch. These are the Pacific giant pumpkins that I sowed about I think six weeks ago. This middle one here looks like it's doing well. There's a smaller one right there. So hopefully we get some giant pumpkins. They look pretty healthy and all I've been um, giving them is warm casting. So, so far so good. Here's one of my giant rhubarb plants. And there's one right there to the right. These are the Victorian varieties. They produce the giant leaves and long stalks. The, the stalks can grow as long as 16 to 18 inches in length. And our favorite rhubarb recipe is strawberry rhubarb crumb bars. They are so delicious. There are a lot of recipes online that you can find. I will also be uh, trying to make uh, rhubarb jam. So that's on my to-do list this summer. Over this way are the blueberry shrubs. A couple of them are still pretty small. You know what? They are a different variety than the other ones. These are the top hat blueberries, so they are a smaller variety, and I think they do really well in containers. So I'm thinking about pulling them out in the fall, putting them in containers, and replacing them with bigger strawberry, I mean, blueberry plants. So this is a Blue Jay blueberry variety. This one's a pretty prolific one. Lots of berries in there. As you can see, they're all still green. A couple of them are starting to turn purple or blue. So we'll be getting a lot of berries from this shrub here. Got two more here. These are not producing this year. We had like a cold spell um, in late spring. It got down to the 40s again, and most of the flowers fell off. So no fruits on these two here, but they did produce a lot of berries last year couple of Fuji apple trees so unfortunately with that cold spell that we had in late spring most of the flowers fell off there are only a few apples there's one here that's left on the tree there's a couple over there you can zoom in there so that's all I'm seeing right now that's very unfortunate now this other Fuji apple tree had a lot of flowers it was full of flowers every stem and they all fell off so I'm really sad about that this tree produced at least I think 20 apples last fall uh, these two Fuji apple trees were planted about three and a half years ago so they are mature fruit trees now and because of that cold spell we had unfortunately it looks like we're not going to be getting any apples or only a couple of apples this year Over here is our five-way pear tree, planted also about three years ago. The flowers fell off as well on this one here, so that's too bad. This one has five different varieties of pears grafted onto one rootstock, so hopefully next year, next year will be better for us. And this one is my husband's project. He is building us some benches and a fire pit, so that's going to be fun this summer. So here's a view from our back deck. 
So that's what's going on in our mini orchard. We'd like to know if you're growing any fruits as well. Leave a comment below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day and happy gardening.